Shalom, giving all praise and all glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rukakadash, and Dabalano to the other apostles, the other bishops and brothers on Dung and Great Millstone, and salutations to the Ophir elect. This is uh, your brother, uh, Rai Bayam, and man, here to share another lesson. And um, the title of this lesson is Looking Up Words Are Important for thorough understanding and the reference script here i'm going to use which is uh, the only script here is uh revelation chapter uh 13 and 16 right <clears throat> where it says um and he calls it all but small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads now i thought about um this script here when I was watching um, Black Mirror, it has uh, like six series, but it's not really, each episode in the series is not really related, like how, you know, you would watch, um, let's say you watch The Avengers or Matrix, right? The second movie would be a continuation. <laughs> of the first movie and so on and so forth so uh black mirror is related to the point that you know what i mean um it goes into it goes into prophecy of the micro c hip that is heavily in that show micro c hip is heavily um uh, in that show right or the you know the injection right where they put the micro c hip under the the skin is heavily in the show so is each episode is is or almost each episode is uh, is almost in relationship to that but as far as like the previous epi the next episode have no you know what i mean there's no like continuation like how you would have you know a movie or, t or, or a tv series if i explained it properly so yeah so brothers put me on to um you know black mirror yeah brothers from different camps they will always talk about it and um I got the Netflix and started watching it. And uh, there's an episode on there called Man on Fire. Where, um, you know, he was poor. He, he became a, a soldier. Right? So he went in and just get a brief um, scene of the episode. So he went in to the military recruiter. And um, they talked to him about the... In order to help, you know, fight what they call uh, the roaches, um, he would need uh, the implant, right? Yeah, I said it right. So the implant would um, it, it would it would help them fight, um, you know, on the battle because one of the things that distract people, you know, from battle is different gunshots and bombs going off in the background, you know, distracting things that. May cause it to be anxious, you know, you know, fear. You know what I mean? Or the smell, like let's say, you know, you shoot somebody, the smell of, uh, you know, blood or flesh or whatever. Um, you know, these things may slow you down, you know what I mean? From continuing to kill other people, so on and so forth. So the implant was able to take all of those, um, like, senses away that would cause fear in, um, in man. You know, you wouldn't be able to smell the grass, so on and so forth. But one of the things that um, was in the implant was in his brain, right? Um, it was able to show his opponent as a monster. You, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like in today's time, you know, men that go into battle, they would see men for who they are, whether they be Chinese, uh, Iranian, or whatever. But... The implant allowed him to see the enemy as somewhat of a monster, even though the person that he was killing was an actual, uh, real person. But the, uh, they call it the elites that be whatever they wanted, um, to call the population because they said that, uh, you know, they, they were sick people. And there was something in their blood that caused the sicknesses and diseases, which wasn't true. They just wanted to cut the population and the people down and one of the ways that they do it um was by having the military hunt and kill them down you understand so when he realized in, in the show one of the, the dudes that was so called a cockroach he invented 
uh, machine, it had like a sensor that when he presses it, it would allow people with the implant to see them for who they are, which they were human. So the military dude, you know, he saw what they were called, you know, the roaches as human beings. So he went to his supervisors, physicians and stuff, you know, and mentioned about it. He couldn't function. Every day he went out in the field, he, um, his, his mental condition got worse and worse because he saw things for what you know it really um it really was so when he went to one of the physician's office that Im that implanted him and stuff the physician showed him a video where uh you know he came in you, you know how it is you know you're excited to go into the military you know and um you know you signed the non disclosure agreements and different things that you sign you sign up for and the dude showed him the interview you know before he signed off on anything and uh, the military guy was like, I don't remember having that interview with you. You understand? And the physician was like, um, well, we told you that as part of the implantation process, you know, you're going to forget this uh, conversation. You're not going to have any recollection and stuff for it. You understand? And what the, the, the words that the physician used, he said, you chose to have the implantation. He showed him the video of the conversation that they had when he came into the recruitment office. So the physician told him, you chose to, to take the implant willingly. And it's the way this kind of slowed, slowed it down to show. You understand? He said, and he said, you know, it was your choice to, to come to us. You understand? And to, to take the, 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 the implant. So, you know, when you go back, you know, into the scripture that is before you, right you know revelation 13 and 16 is not always going to be by force yeah he sure wouldn't have he, he wouldn't have an option where like today you know you have cash you have uh debit you have credit you have different ways to pay right he made it where you know there was you know there's there's no choice in the show you know what i mean there's no uh choice right but for you you would think that you chose you know what i mean but who is going to choose poverty over having a, a so-called normal life and that's what they do choose because you could see in the show that he came from a poor um background but when he joined the military he took the the the, the, the implant in his head you know what i mean he was you know what i mean he had a he, you know food and, you know certain benefits uh, somewhat freedom to move around as a military individual, so on and so forth, you know, son? so a lot of people is going to willingly take, um, you know, the implant, you know what I mean? And when I saw that, I was like, you know, look at the words the physician used. He said he used a chose, choice, and willingly, you know, son? so when you go into, like, the word cause it. Now, I'm doing this lesson because the previous lesson I did before, I said I was going to go into briefly why it's important to look words up because you can't just read the Bible on paper, now your paper Bible, and gain the full understanding. You have to go into the Greek, you have to go into um, the Hebrew, you have to go into the, eto the etymology you know, of words to get the full, to, to get the full understanding. So, you know, hopefully I wasn't rambling too much before I get to this point and that you understand, you know, what I'm saying. I have a... When I get excited about something, I have like an accent, right? Strong accent. So you go into this word, um, cause it. Right. The first uh, one in the online of biblical usage, it says to make uh, with the name of things made to produce, to construct, to form, to be the author's the cause to make ready to prepare to produce to produce beer uh shoot forth there's a meaning that uh, there's a meaning that uh wanted to show you all to inquire to make a thing of something to put one for to lead him all right to make one do something cause one to to 
act to write to act rightly do well carry out execute to do a thing onto one Let's see do, 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 do. continue on strong's definition uh it says to make or do in a very wide application uh more or less direct abide agree so it says how it says agree in a point so when it says he calls it all right you would have to be in agreement. So you give all those words definition, you would have to agree with what he is putting out to um to take, right? So that you may buy or sell. So yeah, you know what I mean is is gonna be an ugly look in society, but those that wanna you know live a somewhat life where they have you know rations, food, water, and even then it wouldn't be like you know how you have you know a certain level of peace now. Esau is going to make sure that he has his uh, his uh, his hand around your neck, so to speak. You know, even when you go and take the system, you know, to get groceries, water, apartments, so on and so forth. And you know, for Jake, that take it, he's going to make life more difficult compared to you know, what I mean, the other nations. So it says agree, so you had to agree uh, to take it. Now a lot of people is going to agree to take it. All right, let me see if I find another word. Uh, without any delay, right, continue to deal. Right, so without any delay. Just like in the show, the dude, you know, he came from a, a poor background. And even when the dude told him that he is going to forget the conversation and the consequences of taking the, the, um, the brain implant. Right, he still... You know, went along with it without without um delay. You understand? And he didn't even read the fine print. He didn't read anything. The dude showed him everything in the document. He read nothing. He just agreed with it quickly without uh delay. All right. So and you go into you know the Atiman online, and remember it says agree. Or to do something without delay, right? Uh, say choose. Choose, seek out, select. Right, one or one or select from two or more to decide, right? To accept. Remember it said accept in the thing too, in the strongest definition for cause it. Right? Right, so you have to, you know, accept it. To to agree, to agree. Right, is also to accept, to accept, to agree. To accept, to agree without any delay. Right, let's see what else. Uh, so people who is gonna take the MOTB, you know, for those of you who say, well, they can't force anybody to do anything. Yes, they will, man. All right, and even uh, further down, it says to choose. If you don't believe me, look it up. The on online, look it up. All right. To, to accept, to approve. All right, so a lot of people is, um, is going to take uh, it willingly. When you go into this word um, choice, right, that which is choice, from choice, action of selecting, right, the power of choosing, the, the person or thing choosing one's choice. You know, the woman say, my body, my choice, right, so you make the, the choice.
All right. And last word um, is willing. Willing. One of the words he used was uh, willingly. All right. Uh, willing, right? Will or willing, willingness. Let me see if I could do that. Uh, let's try this. Willingness definition. The quality or state of being prepared to do something. Readiness, right? Desire, eagerness. The guy that took the implant, he was eager, right? right. It says uh, the ability and willingness of workers to migrate right so you know reading these things you know give you an understanding you know for those of you who think that or you know believe that Esau the so-called white man cannot force people to there's no way that you know you could force people to to take them or TB or to make you know what I mean to make it some he, he will, but the majority of people, the way things are going now, just look at life now, you know, I mean, the, the cost of um, living is, is high and it is not going down anytime soon. You know, we are living in a time now where the majority of um, young people, they don't see a future in this place. You understand? So can you imagine when things get tighter, especially with those... Um, situations with the ships in the uh, um in the middle east right let's say things skyrocket your gas skyrocket uh the cost of things skyrocket i mean high up there like in venezuela where you can't afford anything you mean to tell me for the majority of people when Esau brings a, a solution using the the motb that people won't run willingly to go and take it you understand so it's just a quick example man um like i said i was watching the the black mirror episode which that whole thing man that whole series on the netflix uh a major part of it is um you know the motb and technology in one way uh shape or form you understand you really can't watch that with entertainment eyes you know what i'm saying so all within this uh you know brief uh lesson was edifying unto the elect to help you uh you know when you're reading to look up the meaning of words the hebrew and uh, the greek for thorough understanding so all within it was edifying and it helped you in how you read and how you study the bible and the scriptures all right so so shalom